well, hello friends. How are you? I hope you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. Uh, the sun is shining. It's not snowing yet. We've had a little bit of snow. <clears throat> but we are going to be doing a teeny weeny Wednesday. I have a cute little idea. I was hoping that this will work. We'll see. Uh, Christmas is coming up. Thanksgiving is on Thursday, so I'm going to say Happy Thanksgiving to you right now. But an easy way to make a, uh, a Christmas tree Christmas card would be... Um, oh, we'll tell you this first. Princeton 12. This is going to be my mop brush for the day. And this little guy. Mm, it's very hard to see. Wow, that's tiny. Airbrush tower, zero. Those are the two I'm using today. And I'm also using this is very old liquid watercolor artist loft. I wish they had this like this again because this I got it on clearance. I get so many things on clearance, but I got it such a long time ago. But it is the best green. It is, as you can see, just green. Green. It's the best green. It is just the best green. I love it. And I'm about half empty. And that's a good bottle. It's a really big bottle. It's like a lot, a lot, a lot of fluid in there. Four ounces. Oh. Excuse me while I have a little sip of my coffee. Um, our paper today is my scrap piece left over from the other day from the Canson um, graduate uh, multimedia paper. So we're gonna see how this works. So first of all, I've got two things of water. One for clean water, one for rinsing the brush. We haven't used it yet, so they're both clean, haha. -ha. So all I'm gonna do is take my clean water and make a tree shape. That's all I'm gonna do. Clean water, tree shape. Like a triangle, pretty much. And I'm going to just get it wet. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got a you see that shine. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, so just a little bit of water. And I've seen this so many times in so many places. I've done it before with a palette knife and what have you. But I was thinking I have this lovely liquid watercolor. And oh my goodness, it's very pigmented. Very, very pigmented indeed. Oh, didn't need that much. Again, I'm using my really old table as a palette because I'm just doing this very quickly. Um but I'm going to put a bunch of this on my paintbrush. I'm going to start down here where there is no water and I'm going to go straight up through. Well, that was underwhelming, but there we go. I'm going to keep on keeping on and we're just going to add more until we have it the way we like it. And you can go around the edges if you like. There's a puddle of water on that side, so it's not going to go very far. But you can help it. We're going to try a different piece of paper as well. But I wanted to see how this would work. Right? But you see what I mean? It's, I mean, for multimedia paper this is pretty awesome right now I'm loving it you can make yourself a little Charlie Brown tree <clears throat> excuse me yeah but I think this turned out pretty good so this is just our first little tree I think this is a really good I think that's a wonderful little tree and then you can still make your little your little stem. You can make it brown if you wanted. You rinse off your brush a little bit and go right underneath it with some clean water. And then you have ground. Magic. It's magical. <clears throat> oh, 
Wow, look at that. Okay, well that didn't take any time at all. Hold on, let me get another piece of paper. Okay, just to show you the difference, this is Canson Multimedia Paper from Graduate. This is uh, Arches 100% Cotton um, Watercolor Paper. What side do I want to use? I think I want to use this side. Okay, so let's just try the same exact thing. We're just going to, this is much thicker. So we're just going to, oh, not that. Not yet, don't jump the gun. We're just going to take and make ourselves a pretty little tree shape. And you know, this is all helping me out too because as we do this, all these little things that I make are going to be Christmas cards for friends and family. Because I usually, I try to make Christmas cards every year. I've had a couple of years where I didn't because things were happening and whatever, but you're trying. You're gonna start down here, you're gonna go straight up through, and that is underwhelming again. <laughs> I think it's just a little bit too much water. Maybe we didn't let it set long enough. But you still, you get my point here. And it just shows you, even with the good stuff, sometimes it just doesn't do what you want it to do. But I kind of actually like the little poofs better. So look at that. That's kind of cute. Kind of cute. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Well, I got one more. One more. Let's let this one get a little wet first. Okay. So I gave it a little bit of, of the water. Oh, water. That's a hard word to remember all of a sudden for some reason. Gave it a bunch of water. We're just going to let it sit there for a second while I play with this one. We're just gonna. You can make your tree yours. It doesn't have to be green. It doesn't have to be anything. It can be whatever you want it to be. I'm really loving this one. I think this one is really beautiful. I mean, that's some pretty color. Okay, so what I'm waiting for is this little sheen where there's not a lot of. Get green stuff everywhere, Danielle. There's not a lot of water pooling anywhere. The last one had a little bit of a pool. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a little bit of a sheen. There you go. Now you can see it. Just a little sheen on there. And we're going to do the same thing. Get my little teeny tiny paintbrush just soaking with just that pure pigment. Start here and go up. And still. Oh, but look at that. Look at that. And you can just sit here and keep on dabbing in that color. And that's what I was looking for. I mean, I like everything that the other ones did too. But this. This is the bomb diggity. This is what I was looking for. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's the ticket, that's the one, that's the thing that I've been waiting for, that's the special tricks, I don't know what you want to call it, but man, that just makes me excited right there, that's the coolest thing, that's the coolest thing ever, I really like it. I like it a lot, a lot. Okay, I'm not going to touch it anymore because I like it just the way it is. So I'm going to let these dry for a second and then we'll decorate them. I forgot to give it a little bit of a grounding where it's like not just sitting somewhere in the sky. We'll do that real quick while we're waiting for them to dry. Do, do, do. Rinse off your brush and then just go right underneath. Do it quick enough, it should bleed really nice like that. If it bleeds too much, just smear it around a little more. No problem, Bob. 
that's nice i like it i like it a lot a lot okay i'm gonna let it dry for a second and then i'll be back okay so while i was waiting for things to dry i got a little antsy and i started making some more because i have a hard time waiting for things but this is a uh, canson graduate watercolor paper and so i just want to show you how wonderfully it works with this thought and this idea. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna make a triangle. This is like stuff you can do with your grandkids or your children or whatever. I'm just gonna make a little bit of a triangle. And I'm just gonna get it a little bit wet. Not a lot, just a little. And then this time, let's see, let's try starting at the top. Look at that. Look at that. This is just a Canson graduate watercolor paper. This is not, it's not expensive. I got it at Walmart. I think this was 20 sheets for $4 and something. Yeah. Seriously. And you can have this kind of a card. You can get some cheap, inexpensive watercolors. You can do this with your kids' watercolors. The ones that they buy, the little Crayola ones for schools. You can do this with anything. You can do it any color you want. It doesn't have to be green. It doesn't have to be a Christmas card. It could be just any old. You could just make this really big and have it just a big, huge painting. Why not? That's just plain gorgeous right there. Okay, so I'm going to go straight down with my little stem, rinse off my brush really good, flick off some of that water, and then just make the ground. How easy is that? Seriously, people. If, you, if you're not watching what I'm doing, then you won't be able to do this. But you'll be able to do it if you just just try. And I have a little bit of this green left over, so I'm just gonna darken it up in the middles a little bit on the ones that are still a little bit wet. I don't feel like dealing with the other ones, the ones that are dry. This one's still a little wet. No, it's not. That's okay. That's okay. This one's a little wet. Just give it a little more dark. Just so it's not like one dimensional. It looks like this. The middle. The middle of a tree is way darker than um, the outsides. The outsides of the tree. Look at that. Look at how pretty. Just gorgeous. I tell you what. You can take this as far as you want. You could actually draw your little leaves, stems, not stems, not leaves. What am I looking for? The little, um, oh, help me people. What am I thinking of? What is the word? The branches. Holy cow. <laughs> There's a lot going on lately. I'm just going to blame it on that. Branches. Yes, the branches. Okay, so you can decorate these any old way you want to. I'll be right back. Okay, so there are a million ways to decorate these little guys. You can leave them as is. Write the words, Merry, Happy, something or another on them. Whatever. You can do whatever you want to do with them. I'm really thinking that this is a, a no-brainer. This is this is my um, tiny gold beam beam paint. This stuff is awesome. It's good. I love it. But I was thinking if we just took a little bit of it. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just in the lid. Just have a, a damp brush and we could just put some 
I think we need more water. Let's put some little dots on here. Have some pretty little gold. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. You could just do gold. You could do gold and silver. You could do all of the colors. Whatever floats your boat, people. So yeah, super easy. And then you have a little card. And this one was just the leftover piece from when I was doing the other two. This is the piece of arches. So it's just a little leftover piece. So I decided to make a little, little something, something on there and give it a little line across, two lines down, and a little peak. And you have yourself a star. That's a kind of a wonky star, but it's still a star. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest little thing you ever saw? I like it. Okay. We did that. Let's also see. I have these paint, these uh, pens from Pentel. I absolutely love these. And I can't find them anywhere anymore. So, Pentel, if you're watching, I need some more sparkle pens. These stuff are awesome. We could add some more little sparklies in here with the gold. I don't know if you can see that, but look at the sparkle on those little guys. So cute. So, 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 so cute. But then you could take and make them a little bit bigger. Look at that. Have a whole bunch of little silver sparkles. Yep. And then they have a multitude of colors. This is the gold sparkle from Pentel. Uh, are you watching me, Pentel? Because I'm telling you, these are the bomb diggity. I love them. I wish I could find them again. I found them in Michael's and then I didn't. When I started to love it on them, I was like, oh my goodness, where are they? And there's no more. So I'm very frustrated because I can't find them. Probably a very hard way of making a star, but that's my way of making a star. Okay, then they have this cool one that is black, but it uh, shines red. And if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know how much I love red. Yes, and then they have a purple, purpley purpley. But look at how pretty these are. You can make yourself a beautiful little, it's very therapeutic as well. It's just like so relaxing, just uh, after a long day of baking or whatever you're doing. And they have green. Maybe we should put green on a different one, huh? Because that's enough of that. That's a lot on that one. Um, this one needs some love, but I was thinking something different for that one. So let's try this one real quick. Oh, we haven't done one of these. Let's do this because that one's that one's the same thing. This is what happens when you put um, water on something that's already drier than the water is. Then you get the blooms. Blooms to me, I think it's part of the beauty. But some people just really don't like the blooms. So that's how you get blooms. So this is like a blue green. It's really pretty. I love it. But like I said, I don't know where to find them. I can't find them anywhere. Very, 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 very upset about that. This beautiful pink. They're all kind of like a two-tone ish. And like I said, your tree doesn't have to be all green and red and 
It can be anything you want it to be. You can Your star doesn't have to be gold. Let's try this. Even though this is gold, this is a Jelly Roll. These are good pens as well. I love me some Jelly Roll. Ah, da, 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 da. Yep. Oh, my Jelly Roll is getting cranky. Come on. Come on, dude. Are you going to make me have to get out the other guy? You are. That's a gold one. Give it a little help. Yeah. Look at that. Just makes it sparkle. Sparkle, sparkle. I love the sparkles. Okay. So, and you can do the dots all day long. It's perfectly fine. Wonderful, wonderful. Then you can also take your puffy paint. Regular old everyday puffy paint. I think that's just what it's called. It's puffy paint by puffy paint. Puffy paint by puffy paint. Make sure it's coming out. Always test it on the side because you don't want to explode it on your painting. Put some little puffy paint dots. You can get puffy paint in sparkle. I have sparkle puffy paint. But that would be a cute little something something to go with your pretty little tree let's try some red again always try it on the side just to make sure that it's coming out and it's not going to be a big old holy cow clump but look at that how cute that is you could easily do this while you're watching TV while you're playing with your kids. Make some Christmas trees with your children and let them decorate with you because that's fun. That's what, And this, this is Studio G. I got this at uh, Michael's, I do believe. Gotta make sure it's coming out. Mm. That's my problem with these ones. They don't like to come out. They don't like to play. Once they get cranky, then they stay cranky. Doesn't matter how well you keep them clean, they just get cranky and they stay that way. Nope, we're not going to do it. We'll just try the puffy paint. Silver. See if that works. If not, red and yellow is fine. There we go. Cool. I like it. And you don't have to have a star at the top, you could just have a big a big bubble. Why not? A big sparkly bubble at the top? Of course. Why not? Why not? So the sky's the limit, dudes and dudettes. Dudes and dudettes, you can do whatever your little heart desires. You can make cards for your friends. For your family, I'll try one of my Sharpies. You can just do um, squiggles. So some squiggles and a star. That star is awful. <laughs> Let's help it a bit. 
That star is absolutely, that star ain't going nowhere good. That star's like, what in the world are you doing? There, that's better. Give it some little silver sparkles. Why not? These are teeny tiny things on teeny tiny, no, not teeny tiny, teeny weeny. Teeny weeny things on teeny weeny Wednesday. Boom, boom, boom. And look at that. You're done. You can also just leave this one as is. Why not? Maybe you take one of your jelly rolls, this yellow one. I like the yellow one. And just give it just a pretty little star. Just a pretty little star on the top of the tree and just leave that one like that. I like it. I like them all. What do you think? Okay, so let's move all this back and move them all over here where you can actually see them all. Do do do. Do do do. And do do do. They're all teeny tiny. Teeny weeny. Teeny weeny Wednesday. So, what do you think? You think you can do this? I want you to try. Go try it out. Send me a uh, a message hashtag me in your pictures if you put them out there on social media leave me a message tell me how much you enjoyed this or if you didn't and yeah I can't wait to hear from you I hope you have a wonderful day I hope everything in your world's going fantastic so I'm gonna say much love and peace to you all and you have a great big blessed day and God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for participating. Thank you for being a part of our journey. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.